I meant to, um, hey guys, um, welcome back again. This is a follow-up to the previous video I just posted. But I meant to go into more detail about Elijah and Elijah and how he was allowed to rest and eat in his weariness. The word says in Galatians 6, 9, and we hear this quoted quite often in Christendom. Let us not become weary in, in our well-doing. At the right time, we will reap a harvest if we don't give up. And that's from, I was reading from new the NIV and the NLT at the same time. But um, the King James says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And to me, that scripture is used a lot of times to bash people who, who do get weary, who do get worn, and who do get tired. Because as Christians, we're not supposed to get tired. We're not supposed to get weary. We're not supposed to be get broken. And that's why you have a lot of people faking the funk right now. You know, they're broken. They're torn down. They're tired. But they feel like they have to wear a mask because in some ways, that's um, being worn down, being broken, being tired. It's like a a negative mark against your Christianity. It's like a negative uh, on your walk. You know what I'm saying? It make people make you feel bad about your relationship with Christ. Sort of like how I had an unsaved family member tell me when I was going through what I went through physically, I thought you were saved almost as an indictment on my Faith, you know, if you were saved, you would not be going through this this ailment. When we know the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. And Jesus said, in this world, we will have trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So ain't nowhere in this word do it say because you're a Christian, you won't go through nothing. Ain't nowhere in this word does it say because you're saved, you're going to be strong all the time, all throughout the Bible. Even our Lord said, Father, if it be thy will, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, your will be done. So who are we to think and to put that much pressure on people to make them feel like if they become weary, they're not worthy? Your weariness does not make you unworthy to God. And that's what we have to understand. Stop performing for man. Stop wearing a mask pretending that you're a whole when you're broken, when you need to be put back together. And sometimes the only one who can put you back together again is God. And sometimes in that, you have to withdraw. You have to withdraw. You have to go to your quiet place and allow God to fix you. Now, in, in his instance, Elijah was running from a threat. And God still sent an angel to feed him, to nurture him, to nourish him for the journey. The angel did not, um, did not rebuke him and try to shame him and make him feel bad because he had a moment. And we have moments. This, this man of God had a moment. And in that moment, he reacted out of a, a temporary emotion you know, a temporary feeling, and he fled. So you, you're going to have moments where you're not going to do what you, what you need to do, but don't allow that to keep you down. Allow God to feed you, to nourish you, to heal you, to give you strength for the journey. Because as we all know, those of us who have been on this road for a mighty long time, and I know there's some, a lot of you been on it a lot longer than me, you know the things that we go through with people, family, friends, even church folk. You know the things that we go through and we get weary and downtrodden. And then you get bashed for being weary. You get um, shamed for, for your weakness instead of being built up, instead of being fed more. So a lot of times you may need to just withdraw. Withdraw to your quiet face. Let God feed you and nourish you to get you back on the journey. 
You know, you, you need strength for this journey, honey. You need the bread of heaven. You need to draw from the well of living waters. So I just pray that when you are weary, you don't beat yourself up. You don't feel like, um, I had somebody to tell me when I was going through a storm and I had just, this is the crazy thing. You could have just ministered to this person or whatever individual a week before, a day before, a month before, and they'll turn right back around and try to bash you, <laughs> you know, like, don't you remember that you just went through this and I just ministered to you, but I was going through something and I was just emotional. And this person told me, you, you supposed to be dead to the world. You supposed, you ain't supposed to be feeling like that. I'm like, brother, when you the one on the phone in tears, going through your situation when I was ministering to you. Show me the same grace that I showed you. Show me the same mercy that I showed you. And see, that probably goes back to that was somebody I was pouring into and probably shouldn't have called, you know. But you live and you learn. You know, I thank God for every, every blessing and every lesson. Because a lot of them was lessons, hard lessons that I had to learn. But a lot, the majority of the people that I've met, the things that I've been through, I can honest, honestly say that they were blessings. Now that my vision is no longer tainted by pain, by brokenness, by, you know, rejection and, and different things that I've gone through. I can see clearly now, and a lot of people that God allowed me to encounter were really blessings to me. But baby, when I tell you the the lessons are imprinted in my memory quite well too, they are. God bless you. Have a good day.